this milk come from? Did it come from a supermarket? Or a cow? Or how did it get into this garden? Do you know? Let's go back to the cow. Cows are farmed on a dairy where they eat different grasses and drink water to help them produce milk. The cows are milked by robots these days. However, there was a time when milking was done by people using their hands in a bucket to get fresh milk. So how does the milk get into the carton? After the cow is milked, the milk goes off in a tanker truck to be processed in a factory where it is pasteurised, which means it is heated up and then cooled to get rid of any germs. Finally, the milk is packaged and distributed to shops and supermarkets. What are some other milk products apart from fresh milk? Milk products you might know and eat are butter, cheese, yogurt, custard, cream and ice cream. What about fruit and vegetables? How do they get to the supermarket? Most of the food we eat comes from farms. Fruits like tomatoes are grown on farms in a field. The crop is hand-picked by people just before the tomato is ripe. The tomatoes then have to travel in a truck to the supermarket distribution centres before the tomatoes are allocated and make another journey to the supermarket where they are sold to people. During this entire time, the tomatoes are kept at just the right temperature so that they are good to eat and do not go rotten before they are sold. People can also grow tomatoes as well as their fruit, other fruit and vegetables in their backyard gardens, where a tomato can be grown until the day it is picked ripe and ready to eat without going a step further than your own backyard. I guess you're wondering why tomato plants grow tomatoes. The answer is to carry their seeds. The seeds are inside the tomato and it is the seed that makes the tomato plant grow when planted in the ground. Seeds come in many different shapes and sizes, but one thing is for certain, that if the seed lands in the soil and has sunlight and water, then it will most likely sprout and become a plant. When plants grow, they produce flowers, and it is the flower that becomes the fruit, or in this case, the tomato. However, the flowers won't grow tomatoes without help from bees, but that's another story. Mm.